So good afternoon, good morning, good evening again, 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 again. I'm saying that a lot today. So this time I have from the other side of the world again, from beautiful San Francisco. You're in San Francisco, correct? I'm right? near Vancouver, Canada, same Vancouver, coast. Same coast. Oh, yeah. oh Pacific. I was think we had our honeymoon in San Francisco, so I love it. Oh, oh it's a sweet place in your heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We nearly immigrated. Long story. Different, different conversation. Anyway, back to this because we've been chatting. So, guys, um, Tammy is an absolute um, expert on Facebook. So, before we talk about that, and since this is live on Facebook and, and that and we all use Facebook um, every second of our lives practically, this stage, I think we nearly live on it. You know, I, I, I always say, Tammy, that, you know, if um, if Google know more about us than a mother, Facebook know more about us than a mother or father or family and our spouse. <laughs> oh, so true. So true. So how, where, what's your history, Tammy? How did you come in? Where, what, what were you doing before online or is this your first business? How did you start out? Uh, so I'm a CPA accountant. Um, it's my background. And... Um, yeah, I did that for a lot of years, even though after about three months in, I knew I shouldn't be doing this. <laughs> it took me a long time uh, to quit and start up my first business, um, uh, which was helping brick and mortar businesses be more profitable. So uh, that's what I did, although I did not do that very successfully at first. I wasn't bringing in a lot of clients when I first started, even though I had all this crazy business experience background and marketing experience uh, when I went to get online it wasn't quite as easy as I thought it was going to be <laughs> it's, kind um, like, it's kind of a common team that funny enough <laughs> yeah I think there's a lot of people who experience that one so you know I did all those things that you were just talking about spend a lot of time on Facebook posting and and doing blog articles and all that stuff and um, not bringing in a lot of clients. So when I got an email from Facebook suggesting that I try these brand new style of Facebook ads, so that was about 10 years ago, I uh, was like, oh my gosh, I have to do something different. And even though in my head, online marketing was free, <laughs> I uh, got up and running with Facebook ads and we just took off so quickly. Um, six figures within six weeks and $3 million a year within six months. So it was a crazy, crazy ride. So uh, that was my first business. So we, I sold that uh, six years ago, seven years ago. Oh, the accountant, the accountant history came out. You saw, do you know that, that folks? She said she, she just slipped that and I sold that, like you know, as if it was nothing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So it, it is interesting what you said there, just to, to pull up on something because a lot of people think you know, and okay, organic on Facebook has its place and has its value without a doubt. But because the algorithm changes and the way it has moved, especially, like, I lovingly call it the cocaine model, I'll be honest, right? Okay. They give you the cocaine, they get you addicted, and then they do what they want, right? Yes. Uh, and it is very much that way. So talk about the kind of where you are now. So you, you sold that business, and then what was the next stage? Yeah, so I I thought I had a lot of time to figure out what it, I became the mom to three in the same year that year with two stepdaughters and a baby girl and uh, life just changed priorities changed and I decided to sell it and um, you sold uh, you sold the kids or sold the business oh. <laughs> <laughs> I I have five kids so I'm a loud joke <laughs> yeah yeah. It was a little bit of an eye opener for me because before that I worked for myself, lived alone, like I had a lot of freedom in my life. Um, <laughs> Can't remember. Um, <laughs> and so the kid, so when all that happened, I just decided I wanted to uh, make a change, and I got that great offer, and so I sold it, and I went about to figure out what I wanted to do when I grew up. Um, and I thought I had a lot of time to figure that out, but things kind of went sideways on me and I needed to get up and started again in a second business pretty quickly. And the thing I knew I knew how to do was Facebook ads. So I got up and running, um, uh, with my Facebook faucet, uh, business, uh, about four years ago now and, uh, started teaching people how to do the same thing that I had done, how to get a system set up with your ads. And, and yeah, we, uh, I didn't have a lot of money then starting up, and so $126 of ads, we turned that into $20,000, almost $20,000 of income in three days. Um, and wow. then I got myself out of a sticky situation, and now we're on track to, you know, just break through a million dollars this year, and um, super excited about Facebook ads, obviously. 
Yeah, that, 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 that's amazing. And it's interesting that you sold the business and then you had to move again quickly. It's, we, won't, we won't ask you why, but it, it happens uh-huh. very regularly. It does happen. Yeah. You, th- you think you're out and, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, I like the expression when I grow up, yeah. I don't think I'm ever going to grow up. I never know what I want to do. Um, so let, let's talk about Facebook ads for a minute because it, it is a, it's a topic kind of near and dear to my own heart. I, I've done a lot of, for, like yourself, I've done Facebook ads for businesses and the rest of it, and I've seen phenomenal results um, with it. Um, so why don't you run through kind of really, because people are terrified of Facebook ads. Let, let's be blunt about it, right? Um, and the reason is, they. Can, this is my view, and you can, you can correct me if you think I'm wrong, is they haven't a clue what they're doing. And Facebook are very, very good at taking money out of your pocket. <laughs> I would definitely agree with that. Like Facebook ads are probably not a thing you just want to wing it on. Uh, I call that playing the lottery on Facebook. Uh, and you all know how often you win the lottery. Um, but if you just know a little bit of the insider tricks on Facebook, Facebook actually, you know, they want us to be profitable with our ads because when we are profitable, we spend more money with them. And so, but hands down agree, a lot of people, you know, just go in and try Facebook ads and end up losing money on them. Yeah, it, it, it is. It's intriguing because a lot of people just hit the blue button, boost the post and have no call to action to follow up, don't know where it's going to go to hit the i'm actually ironically working with um it's a financial institution here and they've been running facebook ads with with a company and they're not having any results so they asked me because i I spoke at an event and they asked me to have a look at it and and i I looked and i said well i can understand we're not getting any results because when the person clicks the button they go to your about us page which has nothing on it except your opening hours yeah you know that's hard to make money that way yeah and I would say I'm an old retailer like so my attitude is I, I used to say you know a lot of what a lot of you are doing is um, you know so you build a beautiful shop it's fantastic you made this magnificent store you put it on the high street of your business and you put a solid plate glass window in front of it right you don't put any door so everybody can come up and stick their face to it but they can't get in to do business with you so it looks good but it's not a lot of use I like that analogy you know so and give people an idea so people who may be new and terrified of Facebook guys because let's be honest you could that like, you can spend thousands and hundreds of thousands and you know and Facebook will happily take your money and I, under, I agree with you they do want you to be successful I think that that's a very important point because from a bit recurring business point of view, you're successful, you spend more. So yeah. what, what, why would I go to do Facebook ads? What's the, the real purpose? How do I, you know, like if, if I'm starting out and I'm terrified of it, where should I start? Outside so, of coming to the webinar. <laughs> yeah, I, gotta come to I think the piece that people really miss, um, in addition to learning how to use all the insider secrets on Facebook, but the piece that people really miss um, is setting up the right strategy ahead of time that's really going to make it profitable. So you talked about sending people to the about page. We definitely don't want to do that. But not only that, but people tend to create an ad um, that a copywriter maybe has to, to help them with or something like that, and it really isn't designed to attract their best customers. And so even though people are clicking on their ads and they're coming to see them, um, they're not buying anything. There's <laughs> nothing worse. <laughs> yeah, and so that's the heartbreaking thing. So the first place we start always with clients is setting up the right strategy Um, that's going to allow you to pay only to put your ads in front of the best uh, possible clients and the best possible clients who have a high likelihood of coming to buy from you. Yeah, what what you're describing is I love me describing because you're you're a parent. So when when I used to be, when I was retailing, I was in the kitchen cabinet business and in the ceramic tile business, right? Uh, and the debate back then, there was no seven-day shopping in Ireland, right? You know, cat the girl and all the rest of it, there's no seven-day shopping. So the first shops that started doing seven days, we'd go around and people would be saying, my God, they're very, very busy, that's great, and the rest of it. And I'd be looking around, I'd see a load of people, and I'd lovingly call them, and I was one, a pram pusher. It's raining, there's nothing to do with the kids. We'll take them out, we push them around. So, But when you got to the till, there was absolutely no, and the staff were talking to each other, and there was nobody at the till. And that's very much what you're saying the same on Facebook ads. And people seem to think that, it, that it's different. And with Facebook ads, does it matter the type of business or if, are you, with what you're going to show people? Is there a way to work with you even if I don't have a business? 
Uh, sure. Like I get started with a lot of clients who are interested in uh, building up their list in anticipation of the fact that they're going to be launching a program or a product or a service. So we definitely do that. It's a great way so that when you do go to launch that program, product or service, you have some an audience built up for it. Um, we really do specialize in um, relationship building type ads that are designed to connect with your ideal clients. We don't specialize if you're going to go sell a pen, for example. We're really much more about a longer relationship, um, building that up with clients so that they, um, that's why our ads do so well is because our ads are designed like a post that they might see from their friends and family rather than like the slick marketing ad. Rather than buy this SHI, <laughs> we will leave the last word in because that's it. And the, the other interesting thing that, that you said is the fact that you're building a relationship before they buy, which, which, which I really like because you, you see an awful lot of people, they go off, they build a product, they build a service, and they find out that nobody's interested. And you've done yeah. all of this time and money. You know, I always call it go back to because I'm as I said, I'm an old retailer, right? And I'm online 10 years, but I always go back to retail. It's like you go and you buy this wonderful cart and you bring it in and you paint them all pink. And then somebody <laughs> comes in and says, They're fantastic, I love them, but why aren't they blue? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we do recommend that people get started getting in front of an audience way quicker than than you might think. Like, all you need on paper is a description of how you're going to serve clients, and let's go test it and make sure people want that thing from you before you go build it. And and, and that's a real powerful thing that I 1,000% agree with you on Facebook, is if you don't have a business or you have an idea for business, it's an absolutely amazing way of being able to go and test and find out, does somebody actually want it? You know, it's one of the beauties of online marketing. So you're helping people, and that's amazing because I I, just, I love that strategy. I do it all the time myself, being honest. You know, you, you you launch a product and you think, oh yeah, it's the best thing since sliced bread. You put it yeah. up and you just make this. Yeah, we've all been there. Like my first book, right? My first ebook. It took me five and a half months to write it, and it was a work of art. And there were three people in the world outside of me thought so. <laughs> <laughs> so true. I'm going to share on the, on the training uh, next week uh, how I, so my very first webinar, um, I was testing out an offer, 0.0005% conversion is what I got <laughs> on that webinar uh, in sales. And so I'm going to show them how I went from that to converting more than 20% of uh, the webinar viewers into actual sales because that's the, one of the most powerful things about Facebook ads. Oh, I, I, I want to see that. <laughs> Especially in the world that I live in. Absolutely. So, Tammy, I've, I know you're really, really tearing busy, and I know it's 9 a.m. in the morning for you, um, which is very early o'clock in, in, in our, in, especially in my world, anyway, because 9 o'clock in the morning, they just seeing how the kids gone to school, or gone to work, or gone to college, and, and sneak, can they sneak down and have a cup of coffee and peace and quiet? Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know my life. <laughs> Come here. My no, I I have four boys, and um, my fifteen year old is nearly the same size as me, um, and the rest of them are all bigger. Uh, and like it, it was funny, it was it was somebody was talking about it, saying you know, um, do they eat a lot? I said no, they don't eat a lot. They eat everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I have three girls. So oh, three girls. What ages? We might be able to do no match as well. <laughs> <laughs> you know, we get a barter going, you can have the boys. I'm going to take girls any day. You know, we don't have a problem. My, my daughter's much easier. So, Tammy, I really appreciate you coming on. Guys, The, the if you're watching this on Facebook or wherever, the, you know, the link will be below to register in. It's the free ticket. We're also giving away a Chromebook and a... Um, a whole starter pack for online business as a freebie you can go in and, and enter that once you register for the this event there's people like Tammy coming on going to share absolutely amazing secrets with you Tammy that was fabulous I'm not going to talk to you much more because I'm so interested in the topic I don't want to pull so because I, 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 I like the amount of demographics that Facebook have in us is insane Oh, yeah, I'm going to share a little bit about that on the training as well and how to use it to your advantage to really make your ads more profitable. Yeah, and I, I, I've been talking to your team and the, the help that you're giving us with the ads is fantastic and the insights that you're showing and, you know, pixels. And, yeah, I, I know a lot of the theory, you know, pixels and this and what they should do and what they can do, but it's actually seeing them in action is fantastic. So I am really looking forward to this as well, and, and I'm going to leave the last word to you. 
Well, just I really encourage everybody, if they're listening to this, come sign up. I know you have an incredible lineup of people signed up. I've got a lot of secrets for you and how you're going to get profitable on with your Facebook ads super quick and do it in a way that you don't have to be super techie to do it. I'm going to show you how easy we can make that um, for you to get started and get start getting your work in front of a lot more people. Perfect. Well, with that, Tammy, thank you very much. Then for two seconds, I'll talk to you when we're done and we're going to go offline. So have a great day, folks.